busy night for lawmakers passing the controversial recreational marijuana bill just before 2 o'clock this morning. Fox 6 One's Lauren Zenzi joining us from the state capitol with the details. Lauren, not too often that we begin our morning with uh, folks who are also still working here. <laughs> Yes, this, this passage happened at about 1.51 this morning. The bill that is legalizing recreational marijuana has passed in the Senate. With 36 votes, there were 19 yes, 17 no. Now, let's go over the details of this bill. The final version of the nearly 300-page bill were made public over the weekend. It would make marijuana legal for adults 21 and older starting July 1st of this year. Retail sales would be expected to start next year, and it would allow people to grow their own marijuana starting in 2023. Since passing, it will now move to the House of Representatives, where House leaders say they plan to take it up on Wednesday. I believe we have the votes, right? Like anything, a major piece of legislation, largely the same as what came out of the Judiciary Committee almost two months ago now. Um, largely the same, but we've made adjustments and, you know, we do have a strong commitment from the House Democratic Caucus to, to vote on a cannabis bill. Another bill creating much discussion is the state budget. House Speaker Matt Ritter says they reached a deal with the governor's office Sunday night, and the plan is to take it up in the House first thing this morning before it would go to the Senate. He says they're right on track to get it done before the end of the session. Uh, we're pretty solid on the budget. It's a good budget. It takes care of folks uh, most in need. It does not raise taxes, and uh, those are really important to me, as well as getting it done on time. There is lots to unfold, not only this morning, but through the rest of the week. So we'll be sure to keep you up to date with any new information on air, online, and on the Fox 61 News app. We're live in Hartford this morning at the State Capitol. I'm Lauren Zenzi, Fox 61 News.